Yeah. Now, you were banging out of order out there. What's Honey ever done to you, eh? She's an ambulance chaser. She's only happy when there's drama she can stick her nose into. What drama? Exactly, darling. There isn't any. Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a load of numbers. It's my measurements. Right. Honey took them for my uniform for the tie. That was nice of her, wasn't it? I don't know how many girls to talk to. I mean, Joe's pretty girly, but it's not quite the same. Oh, thanks. I can talk to Honey. She really listens. Like Mum used to. And you just shouted at her. Yeah, well, come on then, let's go, let's go and get your uniform, yeah? No, I want Jay to take me. And I want you to go and apologise to Honey. Legs. We all miss Mum, but we've all got to try and be happy. I want you to be happy, Dad. Come on. Fanger said the queues at the uniform shop were around the block. And I might have even got in a fight. Sounds great. <sighs> Sorry, I. Eh? Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get to say hello to you, Landy. Shame she's not sticking around. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, crying shame. Especially mm. after what she told me today at breakfast. Hi. Listen, you don't have to say anything. No, I do. Well, what, do you want to get coffee? Yeah? OK, I mean, she's told me in confidence, so don't tell her I see. I remember when I first met you. Such a happy little boy. Always singing and dancing, you are. <laughs> I remember thinking, you know, he'd make a great Billy Elliot. It's a long time ago, honey. Mm, and you've been through a lot, haven't you? Although what Mitchell hasn't. I still see him, though, that happy boy. When he's dancing with Lexi or having a laugh with Callum. They're sitting here now. Do you see sadness? I see a loving and caring man who's struggling with an eating disorder. <laughs> My Billy makes me laugh too. <laughs> but when the Dark thoughts creep in for me. He he senses it and he he waits and he tells me he's there for me, you know, when I'm ready to talk. And, and then when I am, he does listen. And I know you don't want to talk to me, Ben, I get it, but Callum. He knows you're struggling because he senses it and he wants to listen. So why don't you talk to him, Ben? Don't let this be the thing that pushes him away. <laughs> 